Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today and for the final project of Spring Watch. There were five video projects for you last week, there were five this week, and they've all focused on the mini catalogue, formerly known as the Spring Summer catalogue, the mini January to June catalogue and celebration. And yeah, I love it every year and I thought I'd finish on a remake of a project I made for you last year. So it was a requested um, video or requested project and it was an envelope that had been made out of designer series paper that had featured in the winter catalogue formerly known as the mini catalogue no now known as the mini I don't know that one the last catalogue and Carol requested it and you all loved it so much that I remade it again so I'm going to be making this for international A6 card blanks that's what the entire world makes, with the exception of North America, who use eight and a half by 11 cardstock or paper. So on my blog, and you can watch this video on my blog with the instructions underneath, I've got International A4 metric, International A4 Imperial, and I've got eight and a half by 11 Imperial for all card sizes. It's on there. I'm just going to work in Imperial today. I have slightly adapted this one. So I've got my flap coming over the back. On the previous one, the flap came at the front, but it was a repeating pattern. I don't want upside down toadstools. So you need a piece of paper. And I am just going to work in metric now. Like I say, everything's written on my blog. 23 by 23 centimetres. OK, so don't work on the right way up. Work with it that way round. So you need to turn it that way, not that way. And I'll show you shortly after why. So not that way round, this way round. No, that's still wrong. <laughs> I need to do it. This way round, okay. Take your piece of paper, turn it to the right, score it at two and a half centimetres. And 17 and a half centimetres, okay. Then the right way up, score it at 11 and 22. <laughs> and I'm going to show you why you do that. Let me just give this all a bit of a burnish. You will laugh at me. I laugh at me. because you want your snails the right way up. So this panel here is the front and that's gonna wrap around and glue there and that's gonna fold over. What you don't want to do is have it like that, the wrong way up. Just double check first. Okay, so I need to get rid of some parts. I'm gonna get rid of that bit and I'm going to wedge in just a tiny bit on that panel and there and go all the way along okay you can see how it's going to start coming together like that and like that I want to keep this part so I'm going to take that little rectangle away I'm going to mitre those a little bit I think and I'm going to mitre there and, there, and then remove this bit. I feel bad cutting off these snail's eyes. Okay. So you're left just like this. So I want to put tape on the inside of both of these bits. And I am going to use tear and tape because that's a narrow one centimetre strip. There. So fold that round and close it. Fold that over and just push it down. Fold this one up, push it down, and that is your envelope. So, like I said, I've got this going round the back as, a, as opposed to over the front because if I'd gone over the front, you know, it would have fold it round, uh, which way around it, fold it, it, yeah, they'd have been upside down, <laughs> that's not a good look, okay, 
these two twines they come as a pair and I don't remember which suite they're from but I've been saying it for the last <laughs> for all these videos I tend to buy ribbon and then just use it with which whichever project it works with so um highly recommend you put your project your card in first before doing this but I wasn't sensible enough to have prepared a card first so we're just going to go with this and obviously you can see I've doubled up the pink and the white I don't think I've ever known as to have pink linen thread before or uh, baker swine I should say it's rather lovely isn't it for all I know it actually is part of this suite actually I, you know what I really think it is oh I've just pulled that too far Oh. Let's try that again. There we go. Total enough concentration, sound goes silent. Right, so now I want to put a little bit of detail on. So, snailed it is gorgeous and it comes with matching dies. And one of the one that I'm probably most excited about is the little envelope. So years ago, when I first started crafting, um, you could buy um, pre die cut little envelopes of this size. You bought them in a pack of, I think it was six sheets with six on, so it was 36 of them. It used to cost five pounds. Did you know what? I used to buy them. <gasps> mad, mad girl. Right, so, oh, I need to get my stamps out. So this one matches, oh, not one of those ones. What does that match? I think it matches actually one of the die cut images. So I'll go with that one. It not it matches one of the die cut images. It matches one of the images that's on the um, paper. I know it's painful, isn't it? So let's get a couple of blocks. I'm going to get my memento. Which I'm not going to get stamps on because I'm going to colour these with pens. postage label punch so that's there and then oh, so excited to show you this I've got my new mini cutting emboss this I've had this for by the time you see this I've had this for weeks um, it's just the first time I'm getting it on camera for you so I'm gonna do my little snail Magnetic plate's not out for this yet. But I'm reasonably confident in my own abilities to keep that down and steady. I love that this is so diddy. I love the fact that I can get it all on camera for you. <sighs> it's the little things. And then, oh look, I need to pack up there. It really is small and I love that it is little. Because that's my piece of real red. And I could see billions of envelopes being made with um, designer series paper. Just fabulous. So excited by this little thing. This is available now to buy. Okay, so my little envelope, I can make it up. And I want to keep it closed. I'm not going to add anything to it. There is a die for that, um, but I'm just going to keep it closed for this purpose. Uh, I'm going to colour in some of the 
have my blushing bride and Bermuda Bay pens. And what colour did I go with before? So these are just our Stampin' Right markers. I might have a yellow body too. And then all I need to do now is stick them all on. So I'm going to have dimensionals for these two and I'm going to have some seal for this one. <laughs> there I think and those I think are a lovely remake of the project from last year like I said I think it was November time anyway thank you ever so much for joining me hope to see you very soon back on Monday back to my usual schedule Monday Wednesday Friday videos but still seven days a week video uh, blog posts bye